Ve'ikra, Leviticus 21. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Speak unto the priests, the son of Aharon, and say unto them, There shall none be defiled for the dead among his people, but for his kin that is near unto him, that is, for his mother and for his father, and for his son and for his daughter and for his brother, and for his sister a virgin that is nigh unto him, which has had no man, for her may he be defiled. But he shall not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy unto their Elohim, and not profane the name of their Elohim. For at the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire, and the bread of their Elohim they do offer, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a woman that is a whore, or profane, neither shall they take a woman put away from her man, For he is holy unto his Elohim. You shall sanctify him, therefore, for he offers at the bread of your Elohim. He shall be holy unto you. For I, Yahuwah, will sanctify you, rather, which sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest If she profane herself by playing the whore, she profanes at her father, she shall be burnt with fire. And he that is the high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and that is consecrated to et, put on et the garments, shall not uncover at his head, nor rend his clothes, neither shall he go into any dead body, nor defile himself for his father or for his mother. Neither shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane at the sanctuary of his Elohim. For the crown of the anointing oil of his Elohim is upon him. I am Yahuwah. And he shall take a woman in her virginity, a widow or divorced woman or profane or a harlot. These shall he not take, but he shall take at a virgin of his own people to be his woman. Neither shall he profane his seed among his people, for I, Yahuwah, do sanctify him. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Aharon, saying, Whosoever he be of your seed in their generations that has any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his Elohim. For whatsoever man he be that has a blemish, he shall not be approached. A blind man or a lame or he that has a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or dwarf, or that has a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or has his stones broken. No man that has a blemish of the seed of Aharon, the priest, shall come nigh, to offer the offerings of Yahuwah, made at by fire. He has a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer at the bread of his Elohim. He shall eat the bread of his Elohim, both of the Most Holy and of the Holy. Only he shall not go in unto the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he has a blemish. 
that he profane not at my sanctuaries. For I, Yahuwah, do sanctify them. And Moshe told it unto El Ahran, unto his sons, and unto all the children of Yashara El Ahran.